Hi everyone, it's Michelle, it's the 16th of December. How are we all doing? Um, I thought I would give the lip colour that came out of the advent box the other day a bit of a go. Mm, might be a little bit orangey for me, but we'll live with it. How has everyone's day been? Uh, Ness had another performance of her show tonight. Chris went along to that and he enjoyed it as well. He said there were some great little performances. Um, although, <laughs> perhaps shouldn't say, but we both kind of described it as a bit of a plague pit with a raffle. Um, <laughs> the performances were fabulous, the kids were fabulous, but my God, there were people coughing. <laughs> coughing and sniffling and uh, yeah, you know what it's like this time of year. So nothing to take away from the children's performances, but yeah, we're, we're both quite convinced that we've got uh, the sniffles for Christmas coming. So let's have a look and see what we've got in the Home for Captured Children. Where's number 16? There it is. First floor. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, it's just a candle. They're clearly signing to try and get people to come and rescue them. It's clearly a sign. Leave a light on. Hopefully get someone to come and rescue you. And a bowl of tangerines, possibly. They're either very small tangerines or walnuts. Or it's a massive candle. One of the two. So there we go. No, no actual children to report today. I have a finish. I have a finish. And everybody who's been watching me for the last few days is taking a collective sigh of, thank goodness for that, Michelle. You have finished the pairs. So let me show you the three pairs all together. So this is the first one I stitched. I finished that at the um, Stitch London retreat. This was the second one. And then this one is the third one. So got all three of those done, all using Sulky, all waiting to be FFO'd, which hopefully, hopefully won't be too long. I'm not sure it'll be before Christmas, but hopefully it won't be too long because I got my sewing machine out today. Um, yes, I did. I finished two things. One of the things I can't show you quite yet. The second thing I can show you. So I finished up one of the Puntini Puntini finishes that I'd shown you from my box previously as a previous finish. And it was this one. Now this is actually part of a larger design. When I was looking up the name of it, um, when I spoke about it previously, which of course I've forgotten now, I will put the name of it across the bottom. I think it's called Santa's Cookies. Um, or No, Santa's Struggle. It's called Santa's Struggle. Um, because it actually has wording at the top here about eating all the cookies and not being able to get down the chimneys. But I decided to leave that off and just stitched it on some of this 32 count uh, basalt splash. And I think I might put some of Teresa Kogut's snowmen on that. I think it would work really well. And I just finished it off with a couple of extra pins that Paula sent me. So there he is, Santa stuck in the chimney. His face is one of her fabulous buttons and I just filled it with uh, walnut shells, crushed walnut shells, um, and it's got a plain back, black back, black back in velvet. I will probably put one of the little um, light bulb pins with a couple of buttons and a year charm on it. Um, although, I don't know, maybe. I did toy with the idea of some trim I like pillows with trim on and then I make them and I like them plain as well so it's always a bit of a 50-50 with me for a trim but yes I've got another little pillow to add to my collection. Have I got two seconds? I do have another little one of Paola's pillows here, Paola's Christmas pillows um, and this is called You Wore My Heart I think defluff that a little bit. Uh, according to the tag I stitched this one in 2020 and it's just a little hanging pillow. Now I actually used walnut shells for this as well and um, it's a bit too heavy really to hang. I should have used 
fiber fill or Dacron or something like that, not, not Dacron, um, Kapok, something like that. So that's another one of her Christmas ones. And I do have some more Christmas ones that she sent me. So I might fish one of those out and see if I can get one more done this Christmas season. So much dust, so much dust. So yeah, that was my, my little chart. Let's have a look and see what is in here. Number 16. In transit, camera close up. Mask, moisturiser, primer in one. Ooh. That could be good. I'll give that a whirl tomorrow. I will give that a whirl tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow's episode might be a little bit late in posting because I think I'm going to have to film it on Saturday morning. Uh, tomorrow is our work's Christmas night out. So um, we're all going to the local pub for a bit of a, a couple of drinks first of all and then we're going to a curry house and then some are going on into sort of the nearest big town. I think I'm probably just going to stay at the curry house, uh, enjoy my curry and then come home because <laughs> I'm driving. So uh, I think that's what I'll do. The freebie I've got to share today is by Yasmin's Made With Love and she's actually made two charts. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is a freebie. It's called The Key to Growth and I'm going to put a picture up of it just in the corner there. And the second release that she's had today is um, another chart called Dream Big Dreams. Let me just get that right, called Dream Big Dreams. And it's a, <clears throat> a London scene that she's designed because she has got a place in the London 2023 marathon uh, because she's a runner if you watch her videos you'll know she's a runner and she's got a place she's got a spot so she has designed this chart the dream big dream one um, in order to raise money for her chosen charity which is mencap so if you go over to her link tree i'll put all the information down below you'll be able to find the dream big dreams chart which is her fundraising chart and also the one that she's doing as a freebie but, 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 if you can, then, and you're going to download the freebie, maybe if you could do a little donation into her um, fundraiser as well, that would be fabulous. I'm sure she would appreciate it because they are both lovely, lovely designs. So I have a little finish to show you. In fact, I have two finishes. One I can show you here and now, and one I'll have to show a picture because I don't have it anymore. It was an exchange piece. So... Why is it the bows always go wonky? This one, the one that I've got here and now, is by um, Love Puppet. Love Puppet. It's called Rockin' Robin. And it's a beautiful stitch. I stitch it as part of a stitch along with Yasmin's Made With Love and also Sue um, and a couple of others. Mine is stitched on 36 count Desert Taipan, which as you can see is one of my all time favourites. Um, and on the back, we have that. Now I used this method for finishing to also finish my exchange piece that went to um, Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. And it was a piece by uh, the Elfin Forest. So I'll put a picture of it up there, but it was finished in exactly the same way which is just two circles of card, and then I used some pins to make a pin border. And I had a new start as well. I decided that I was going to start a Prairie Schooler Weatherwise, and I've started with this one up here. Now, this is where I've got to but I am worried, although the colour that I've picked is the called for colour, or well actually it's almost exactly the same as the called for colour because I haven't got the called for colour, um, I am a little bit worried that it's a bit too dark. It's a dark green. Um, the DMC colour is 935, nine, so it is a really dark green. And I have chosen a really dark green but I wonder if perhaps it might be better being just one sort of shade down. I don't know, I'm gonna finish that little bit up and put 
some bits and bobs in that bottom corner and see what happens but whether it might just be a little bit too too dark it's not even showing dark on the picture on the screen it is dark so we'll have a look you can see it's green we'll see we'll see how it goes prairie schooler is normally right about what they do so i'm loath to to go about changing it but we'll see we'll see what happens i might put another color with it and see how it goes and we've got day 16 of the patchwork rabbit advent calendar which i've got here well, here's all the bits that have come out of it plus we've had two charts so far so let's have a look and see what we've got in here Ooh. which was this whitewash by weeks dye works lovely to have this time of year nice oh, that's fallen on the floor a nice bright white and just before I go, another little bit of news to tell you. There is a new Stitch Along starting um, between January and February. You've got about a month to start it. Um, and it is Brenda's big birthday sale. So last year it was Laura's big birthday sale. This year it's Brenda's. And it's a chart from the Scarlet House called Martha Evans from Astrag Minac, 17, uh, no, 1879. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. She's a Welsh girl. It's absolutely beautiful i watched the the uh, sampler sell um and then i was very delighted that i saw when i saw tanya had got it and was charting it so it's a beautiful beautiful sampler um, i will give you more details about the stitch along and about how to uh, to join on where to get the charts from where to what what the hashtag is going to be all of the stuff um either tomorrow or sunday so that's it from me stay classy stitches